Well, um, if you've been watching before, you know I've had problems with me this one here, this ram here, upper ram, and this one here. I've changed all the rams, and now this one's a problem. This was this was given a, a 34 error, which is well oh, two and 32. And this now it's given a four error, which is this chip. But I've changed the chips all round, and it's still given an error of four. And uh, I've got um, a new upper ram module from. I've forgotten where it is. Anyway, I'll tell you in a minute. But um, hopefully, I'll get rid of the problem. But um, I've tested all the continuity between all the pins. But there's these two pins at the top that go to the logic chips and the ULA. And um, I'm still getting a connection, so it could be the ULA. We'll try that next after, if this doesn't work. Yeah, so this arrived for the post. <coughs> So here it is, but unfortunately the cap seems to like it a bit as well. Shelly, will you get your foot out of the way? So um, we'll try taking the chips out and putting this in and see what happens. So we'll uh, just use a little screwdriver and prise a sharp screwdriver and prise the ram out. Nice and gently. Ooh. Well, I thought better wait till the next morning because I had a bit too much to drink after work last night. So I've got four out already. And just do the same with these ones. A little bit each side. Oh dear. All the way. So as you lift one side up, you're best off putting something underneath the other side because it just goes down when you lift this side up. If that makes sense, it just leaves itself around and goes down again. But if you put this under there, it comes out a lot better. Oh, you can do it, I suppose, like this, and just keep your finger on that side and just go all the way down. Still no damage. That's that bit done then. So here's your Paran module, sat on some foam. So as you can see, not all the not all the pins are connected. So hopefully, if I have made a problem with one of these two, um, one of these two little pins there, I might have had a problem with them going to the, somewhere else. Hopefully, this will sort it out. It's not only connected on. I can't really see. So down that strip there, down that strip there. Sorry, down that strip there, down that strip there. And a few pins at the top, and a few, oh yeah, just one pin on there and there, and then two down there. So let's try and put it in then. Yeah, so you can see it doesn't connect on all the pins, it connects on these down there, down that side, this lot there. Um, that pin there, oh sorry, it might be that pin and that pin. Oh, that one doesn't seem to be in the middle. Must be right. Anyway, just connects to a few second row down on these. Alright then, let's just see if we can get it lined up then. Right, I've had a look around the sides to make sure the pins are all lined up. So uh, here we go. Oh, I think that was. Oh no. Is that not going? No, it didn't go in. Oh, 
This is nerve wracking. Going down this side, give it a bit of pressure this side now. Oh, yeah, that's gone in. Oh. Check underneath, yeah, that's nice and flat. Yeah, we've done it. Let's hope the statics kill the chips now. So, we're going to try and load a game, but we've got no keyboard. Membrane's broken. So I don't know if you watched the other video, but I'm going to use this chart to, to short the wires out between each of the ribbon cables to make a key work. So you want J for a start, so you want to go number 4 on there and connect that with number 7 or, or G on there. And that'll put J in. And then we're going to have to put in 2 and H, connect 2 and H together permanently to, so the symbol shift is pressed. And then whilst that's done, we're going to have to do P, P twice, which is comma, is it comma, what do you call it? Which is number 1 and E. A bit tricky. So uh, oh, let's get the telly working. So first of all, I want to put J in, which is number four, number seven. Yep, that's put load on the screen. Now you can't see it very well because it's a daytime. The curtains are open. It might be easier to put some uh, put some jumpers pins in, leader screws, what they call them, so you can actually put a pin on there. Save mucking about, isn't it? I'll try it like this. So I've got load in, I've got symbol shift connected now. So if I press one and oh god, can I get it? One, two, three, there, one, two, four, four in, one, two, three, four, one, yes. Okay, so we've got I'll just disconnect that quickly. So we've got load and them marks what you call them so now we've just got to press enter which is one and seven oh. it's not going Seven, come on. Yes, it's gone in. So now we're on the, the loading screen. You can't see it yet. So let's uh, let's press play on there. Yep, and we've got oh the screen's gone a funny colour. We well, don't worry about that later on. Oh dear. I think it might be it might be that these pots need tweaking. These pots here will wait till the program's finished. So it's fingers crossed. I'll get back to the top. I'll see you in a minute. Well it crashed so it looks like the memory's still not working. Oh dear. Just uh, taking logic chips out and then putting them back in. There's only two that I can do that to. These two are stuck in, soldered in, so I'm going to probably order some of these. And I might just change the ULA just while we're at it, just see what happens. Nice and gently.
One side's gone. What's that? Here? Ooh. Right, we'll give that a whirl then, see if it helps. Oh look, Ferranti. My mate used to work in Ferranti, Scotland. I wonder if he's made these. Right, we'll just try this on the wild chance. It's going to make a difference. I don't think it will. So I finally downloaded the um, circuit diagram for the Series 2. And uh, there you can see this is a chip that that's, we can't get a, anything to work on. And pin 2 and 14 are connected up to the CPU. And they are connected together, but they're not connected to the CPU when uh, I'll show you the net top here. There's the uh, CPU, and I've got a reading on all of these apart from number 12, which is the problem chip. So I'm going to connect a wire from the chip to uh, the um, RAM, and that should do it. There's no power going to the CP, the um, ROM either. There's no so it's, it's definitely that. I've damaged it. I'll just show you what I mean. This is the pin 2. This should be connected to 14 I think. There we go. 14 that's connected. Pin. This next one should be 15. Oh come on. Oh I've got it in the wrong one. There you go. And this one should be pin 12. One, two, three, four, which is this one here, which is not working. As you can see, the next one is connected. Um, forgotten which pin this is connected to. There you go. So anyway, I've tested the top row and they're all right. So it's, it's that one there. And these are joined together like that. But obviously, it's broken off underneath. So we're going to join a cable from there to here. Okay, back in a bit. Various link wires here. We'll use one of these. There you go, nice and tidy. Well, I'm going to glue it down a bit and then we'll do, do an insulation check. Right then, pin 2 and pin 12. Yes! Okay, put the chips, we're going to use the old chips now because I, I want to save the the uh, upper RAM module for something better. Right, I've got the chips back in. Let's give it a tur uh, turn on, see what happens. Well, back to a blue screen again, but um, it's working. But it was quite quick at turning on, which is a bad thing. I mean, it should take a while longer when it's got more memory in it. We'll just uh, try loading the game now. Try loading Hobbit again. It's a 48K game, so that should tell us if the upper RAM's working. Just while it's loading, that bloody ELA, you can't even touch it. Red art. But if it does work, I'll get another a proper 5 volt five regulator for it. Then we'll get a proper a new chip probably for the ULA, a modern one. Um, it said all the capacitors done. It said the R60 mod done, which has caused all the problems in the first place. It said them, some of them diodes under there, you can't see them, but the diodes replaced. It's had these um, transistors replaced. It's obviously had the composite mod done and all the capacitors done. Even though I've melted that capacitor with my solder iron when I was changing these over, so I might change that one over again if I've got a spare one. If, I think I might have some spare ones. And uh, yeah, that's about it really. We've got to twid twiddle these to get the colour right when, we, uh, when, we, when it's working. Nearly downloaded. 
at uh, 96 percent 97 come on baby please it'll have a crash or it'll oh it's going to crash is it no that's okay i think you press enter i'll just short the enter key out on the uh on the keyboard which is that one there as you know i'm not using the keyboard i'm using the wires that one there and that one No, didn't work. There you go. Yes, it works. Oh -ho. Right then. I'm pleased. Thanks for watching.